The 40 questions in this paper are solved step by step. I hope this helps you prepare for future exams. As always, our explanations will be clear and concise. We kindly ask you to click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell. Your support is crucial to the growth of our channel and helps us continue creating quality content. Thanks in advance for your support. Question 1. A ruler is sufficient to, to measure the length of each of the three edges emanating from a given corner. Now multiply these three numbers and you have the volume of the cube. A measuring cylinder is an apparatus used for measuring volumes of liquids. Question 2. In a speed time graph, the slope at any given point represents the acceleration at that moment. As we can see, the slope is constant. So the acceleration is constant. In motion with constant acceleration, the equation for displacement is given by. This is a quadratic equation. The relation between position and time is quadratic when the acceleration is constant and therefore this curve is a parabola. Since the initial position and velocity are both zero, this equation simplifies to Question 3. In a speed time graph, the area under the curve represents the distance traveled. Question 4. In a very simple way, mass is the amount of matter in a body and weight is the force of gravity acting on a body. Therefore, mass is not force. Question 5. To measure the density of a sample of a material, both the mass and volume of the sample must be determined. Question 6. Look at the equation. The moment of a force is directly proportional to the distance between the body and the pivot, but it also depends on the weight of the, the object. Question 7. To keep the rule balanced, you must follow the physical principles related to the moment of a force. When an object is in equilibrium, the total counterclockwise moments must equal the total clockwise moments. As distance and force are inversely proportional, 
the smallest mass must be placed at the greatest possible distance to maintain balance. And this distance measures 50 centimeters to the right of our figure. Question 8. This question is very similar to the previous one. To keep the uniform beam balanced, physical principles related to the moment of a force must be followed. When an object is in equilibrium, the total counterclockwise moments must equal the total clockwise moments. In short, net torque equals zero. You must place the weight of the beam exactly in its center. See the figure and follow the resolution. Question 9. The three toys are stable because the center of gravity is aligned with the pivot. Toy X is more stable because the distance from the center of gravity to the pivot is smaller. And the least stable toy is Z because the distance from the center of gravity to the pivot is bigger. Question 10. There is a conversion of chemical energy into electrical energy in the battery. Question 11. Work done equals force times distance moved in the direction of the force. Question 12. Power equals work done over time taken. Question 13. Pressure is calculated by dividing the amount of force by the area. The change in ground pressure due to club block when the block is stored as in diagram 2 instead of diagram 1 is obtained by taking the difference between the two pressures. There is an increase in pressure. Question 14. Absolute zero is commonly thought of as the lowest temperature possible. Question 15. Evaporation is slower, occurs only from the surface of the liquid, does not produce bubbles and leads to cooling. Boiling is faster, can occur throughout the liquid, produces lots of bubbles, and does not result in cooling.
Question 16. Warmer water will be less dense and move upward to the top of the test tube to boil while the colder water can stay at the bottom. Water does not conduct heat through it very much because it has a very large heat capacity. So it takes a lot of energy to change the temperature. Question 17. Amplitude is measured by the maximum displacement of a point from its position of equilibrium. Wavelength is the distance between two successive crests or throughs of a wave. Question 18. The angle of incidence and the angle of reflection are always equal, and they are both on the same plane along with the normal. Question 19. Focal length is the distance from the length where the parallel beams converge after refraction from the lens. Twenty. When white light is passed through a glass prism, it splits into its spectrum of colors. The speed of blue light is less than the speed of yellow light in glass. The blue light will refract more than the yellow light. Question 21. Medical imaging procedures deliver X-ray beams. And infrared is a type of electromagnetic radiation used in the remote control of a television. Question 22. If the boy shouts a sound, then the sound waves travel towards the tall building, get reflected, return and then fall in his ear. This is how he hears an echo. Thus, the sound travels twice the distance between him and the tall building. Question 23. The magnetic field lines are directed from the North Pole at the magnet towards the South Pole. Question 24. The rod becomes positively charged as electrons from the rod are deposited on the dry cloth. Question 25. Electric current flows in two ways, an alternating current or direct current. The main difference between AC and DC lies in the direction in which the electrons flow. In DC, the electrons flow steadily in a single direction, but it, it does not mean the electric current gradually decreases along the, condu the conductor. 
in AC. The electrons keep switching directions, going forward and then backward. And it does the electric current remains the same all the time. Question 26. If the current and voltage drop through the resistor are known, the resistance can be calculated using Ohm's law. We connect the emitter in a series to the components because the same current flows through the emitter and the component. A voltmeter is connected in parallel to the component where the voltage drop is to be measured. Parallel because in a parallel circuit the same voltage prevails in both branches. Question 27. We use the, the equation power equals voltage times current. After power equals energy over time taken. Question 28. The ammeter A will show the reading of current through two arms. The ammeter B and C will show the reading of current through one arm. The ammeter D will show the total current through all the resistors. So the ammeter D will show the largest reading. Question 29. When all switches are closed, then all possible paths are closed, and current flows through them. Thus, all the bulbs will light up. Question 30. Analyzing each E item takes a little time, but it's worth remembering some important points. Remember that a fuse is designed to melt if the current gets too high. Items A and B are not correct. Furthermore, the neutral wire should never be used to protect electrical devices with a metal case by connecting it to the case or cover. The neutral wire is intended to carry current back to the electrical panel and should not be used for grounding or as a protective conductor. The proper way to protect metal cased electrical devices is to use a dedicated grounding wire, which provides a safe path for fault current to flow. Thus, preventing electrical shock and protecting the equipment. Item D also is wrong. The switch should always be connected to the live wire so that when it is off, no current flows through the ampliance. If it is connected to the neutral wire, the circuit always remains on even when it is off. Question 31. According to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, the induced current is proportional to the rate of change of the magnetic flux. Therefore, 
the induced voltage will have the greatest value when the student quickly removes the bar magnet from the coil of wire. Question 32. A potential divider is a simple circuit that uses resistors to supply a variable potential difference. Question 33. Power companies primarily use step-up transformers to increase the voltage for better energy transmission across the power grid X. Step-down transformers take that voltage and reduce it to safer levels for use in household appliances, electronics, industrial equipment, and other applications. Why? Question 44. Protons are charged positively. They are located in the nucleus of the atom. The proton is charged positively. Outside the nucleus are concentric spherical regions of space known as electron shells. The shells are the home of negatively charged electrons. Question 35. An isotope is a variation of an element that possesses the same atomic number, Z, but a different mass number. They will differ in the number of neutrons held by their respective nuclei. Question 36. The half-life of a radioactive isotope is the amount of time it takes for one half of the radioactive isotope to decay. So let us do it step by step. Question 37. The answer is quite is straightforward. Question 38. You could solve this question by elimination, since items A, B and D are absurd statements. Question 39. A picture is worth a thousand words. Question 40. A redshift is an increase in the wavelength and corresponding decrease in the frequency and photon energy. It is evidence that the universe is expanding, expanding and supports the Big Bang theory. <laughs> 